Hello again, my name is Osman Abubakar. I am here to solve the same problem that we use the intersecting cost theorem to solve. Today we are going to use, that is the second method, we are going to use the elementary, elementary geometry to solve the same problem and get the same answer. If you remember the first lecture, the first method, we had 10 centimeters for the radius. Let's see whether we'll get the same 10 centimeters for the same question. All right, here we are going to use, like I said, elementary geometry. Now, the same way we were told that AC is equal to CB. All right, and we know this is four, let me use ink, this is four centimeters. All right, now if AB, is 16 centimeters like we said then AC which is half of AB will be 8 centimeters and CB which is the other half will also be 8 centimeters great now watch I can do this of course I don't want to redraw the circle again like I said so I can do this and I will say this is R because it is a line drawn from the center of the circle to hit a point on the circumference, which is a radius. All right. Then I can also connect this. I can connect C and O. I can connect C and O. Then I have a complete radius for this. That means OD is also a radius. So I will write here that from the diagram, OD equals OB equals R. That means OD is equal to OB. All right. Now, if we agree, and of course it is true, the whole of this is R and this is 4. So how do we get OC? Therefore, OC is going to be R minus 4. Are we okay here? All right. Now, we also agree that once this is perpendicular, then we have a right angle here. All right. So, there's a right angle here. Now, we have formed right angle triangle um, CBO or BCO. So, um, from... right angled triangle um, BCO okay so let me draw the right angle triangle down here um, Okay, so let me use my ink. I have my right angle here. And if you look at the problem, that point will be C. And then um, this will be B. And this will be O. All right, so let's go. O, C, O, C, O is, push it here, R minus 4. Let me put that in parentheses. And let's see, um, BC, BC is 8 centimeters, and OB, OB is R, so put R here. Of course, you know what we are going to do, Pythagoras theorem. All right, so we do know that the hypotenuse squared is equal to the longer leg squared plus the shorter leg squared. So we are going to say R squared equals r minus 4 all squared plus 8 squared all right so r squared equals square the first r squared twice the product of the two is going to be minus 8 r mm -hmm. yeah square the last is going to be plus 16 then plus 8 squared all right now if you group like terms this will cancel that now 
you are going to push this one there. It is negative when it crosses, it becomes positive. So you have 8r equals 16 plus 8 squared is 64. 64. So you have 8r equals 16 plus 64 is 80. So 8 here, 8 there. This 8 will delete that. You have r standing alone equals 8 here 1, 8 here 10. Therefore, the radius of this circle is 10 centimeters. Proving. Now, in the first method, we had 10 centimeters. Here again, we have 10 centimeters. So, this is the use of elementary geometry. The first one was um, the use of uh, ICT, that is uh, intersecting quartz theorem. So, this is it. My name is Osman Abubakar. Thank you.